Line with Zev Brenner, America's premier Jewish broadcast on the air since 1981. And now, here's your host. And we're back. Our guest, Rabbi Ruven Wolf, Rabbi Mayon Yisrael Hasidah Center in Los Angeles. Also joined by Rabbi Gershon Avson, founder of Rosh Yeshiva Yeshivas, Lubavitch, Cincinnati, and Rabbi Zushi Silberstein. Is 50 years of Shlichus, 45 years as a prison chaplain, 30 years of Rav Young Israel in Montreal, founder, director of Mason Belford, the only Jewish halfway house in North America, director of Chabad, uh, initiator of many programs of Mitzvahs, Mashiach, and Gula. And they're part of an organization, the new one, that's looking to promote and push Chabad to promote more the fact that the Rebbe is Mashiach. So, good luck. Thank you for joining on our program. Well, let me go with you, Rabbi Ruven Wolf. Um, so would you like to see Chabad? What would you like to see Chabad doing differently than what they're doing right now, promoting the Rebbe as Mashiach? Don't they promote? Don't Chabad many believe that the Rebbe is Messiah, is Mashiach? Chabad is doing, first of all, I wanted to bring back that Kanyag um, uh, advertisement because we, 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 we Chabad next like to say Lachayim before we say it. <laughs> well, well, we'll be coming up. I mean, it's an excellent, okay. excellent uh, cognac. But <laughs> okay. nice to be here with you. Thank you for having us on. Um, Chabad is doing amazing work. I want to announce over here right now. I have the merit. Get ready for this one. My son is going out for shlichus in about two months. He's going to be the most northernmost Chabad shliach in the entire world. He's going Where's up, that? He's opening up in Fairbanks, Alaska. Wow! Wow! Um, Are there Jews there? Uh, he's got about a thousand, over a thousand Yidin there. He says, wow. and there's military there, Billy bases and stuff like that. And so the work that that Shluchim are doing with Masir Snafish is unbelievable. And and you know, it's it's across the entire world, literally inspiring, reaching, uplifting Yidin across the world. God forbid, no tainus ever on on the Chabad network uh, of of Shluchim that are doing awesome work. Uh, the Rebbe the Rebbe gave us particularly a mission. Uh, the last mission, you know, the Rebbe, the Rebbe gave different Nitzayim and different projects and so on and so forth. But the last uh, year, primarily, the Rebbe, when the Rebbe was still talking to us, the Rebbe said that our primary work right now has got to be to prepare the Jewish people for Mashiach and to get get the Jewish Can people. Can he say to... Mashiach for himself as no, Mashiach? No, okay, okay. The Rebbe said to be Melkabel Pnei Mashiach, that people should be ready to be re to greet Mashiach. So and, then who, to... and, and according to you, who so who is body, Mashiach? Oh, the by me it's for sure the Rebbe. okay uh, yeah and, and we can talk probably throughout the little bit of the time that we have why i think so but in any case um the in lubavitch itself there's 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 different different approaches of what the Rebbe meant when he said to be macabre for the mashiach does it mean generally to be ready for geula for redemption more to, uh, more mitzvahs and so on and so forth does it also include knowledge who mashiach is and in that, uh, you know, there's difference of opinion, and everybody does it the way they should be doing it and the way they do it. And uh, we encourage our group that you're referring to as a group of shluchim that is not devoted to promoting the Rebbe as Mashiach. We are, promote, we are, we are a group called the Menatzchim, which our inspiration is to push, uh, in general, that Chabad should be more focused on Mashiach teaching, which was the Rebbe's... But, but that also means focusing that the Rebbe is Mashiach. If you're focusing some, on Mashiach, some, the question is who is yes, Mashiach, right? Some people, some people, yes, some people, no. In other words, there's no pressure. You have to do it this way. You know, we're, we're dealing with, with with people, smart, intelligent people. Shluchim are smart, intelligent people, very learned people. And very and dedicated they, people, by the way. I'm a, are, I always admire their devotion. The Rebbe's words differently, and people understood it differently. Uh, you know, Let me turn to Rabbi Gershon Afsan. So <coughs> are you in, in compliance with that? Do you believe the Rebbe is Mashiach? Is that what you're looking to promote? What is your role in, the, in this? So good work, everybody. Good work, Mr. Brenner. Yes, I do believe that the Rebbe is Mashiach. Our main focus, at least my main focus, is to get as many people to realize that while Klal Yisrael has been waiting for Mashiach for so many years, we want the world to know about the Rebbe's prophecy that we are in the generation of Mashiach and Mashiach is ready to come and that the best way to prepare for it, the Rebbe introduced actually Tazriya Metzoira, which right now we're Matzah Shabbos between Tazriya and Metzoira, that the best way to and the straight way to prepare for Mashiach is by learning the concepts about Mashiach the way they are in all over the places of the Torah. The more we learn about Mashiach, the more we can live Mashiach, the more we can bring Mashiach. That is my agenda. 
but isn't part of your agenda promoting who is Mashiach, right? I per I personally believe that inevitably when someone starts learning the topic about Mashiach, the question, and he starts learning the Rambam, where the Rambam discusses the simonim of Mashiach, inevitably the question is, so who is Mashiach? Yes, that will lead to the question, and hopefully a lot of people will learn to understand. They may not agree, they may not accept, but the more they learn about it, they will for sure understand why Lubavitch believes that the Rebbe is Mashiach. Rabbi Zosh Silverstein, welcome to the broadcast. Good luck. Thank you for joining us. Let's get your perspective. A good luck. Perspective on what? Well, perspective. I mean, a lot of topics that, have been so far. that you have is promoting Mashiach, but you're also promoting the Rebbe as Mashiach. You feel Chabad, and this is what I've been told that you believe you, that Chabad is not doing enough promoting the Rebbe as being Mashiach, the Messiah. Yeah, I know that you had a long night already tonight with a lot <laughs> of legal issues, cancerous issues. <laughs> problems with toothpaste, problems with water, and so on. I was surprised that nobody asked about dark food. But uh, if you still... There's still time before pay. We always get a question about kosher paste with dog food. There was one company one year that actually made kosher paste with dog food. I was just told this week on a light note, but seriously, but a, there's a Jewish guy here in Montreal who produces healthy dark food. So I asked him if his food is kosher for paste. and says, only for Svaldim. Because his food has kidneys. So it's only <laughs> if it's a spalding dog. If it's an Ashkenaz dog, they can't eat his food. Having okay. said all this, right? yes. going back to the topic of Moshiach, you know what? This issue of a Hasid believing that his Rabbi is Moshiach is more than 2,000 years old. If I can take you to the Gemara Sanhedrin, the Gemara Sanhedrin, the Tzadik Ches Amit Beis, has a whole discussion. Mashmoy, what is the name of Mashiach? And the Gemara says over there, the four opinions, Yinon Shemoy, Shilo Shemoy, Cheski Shemoy, Menachem Shemoy, Chivra the Beis, Chivra the Beis, Rebbe Shemoy. So this issue of a chassid, of not just a chassid, a student promoting, believing that his Rebbe is Mashiach, is what in the Gemara is discussed. So why are we surprised today that Chassidim today say that their Rebbe is Moshiach? In fact, I have uh, we have uh, we have a lot of mixed marriages in my family. I have a Gera Chassid and a Bodzer Chassid and a Skvera Chassid and a Baba Chassid. And obviously, this is the discussion. And Baruch Hashem, I have a Litvish. We Baruch Hashem, we have the whole Jewish mosaic. And he's him? because you mentioned the yes, they have his founding <laughs> sister-in-law. Okay, she can use the dog food. <laughs> so, uh, the uh, obviously the issue of Mashiach, and my argument to all my friends and family is, if you don't believe that your Rebbe is Mashiach, why are you his follower? Why are you his chassid? That's what, what the Gemara have, says. Yeah, but you have to admit that, and, and I love Chabad, but Chabad is taking it to a different lens than the other Hasidic group. You don't find Gera Hasidim saying the Gera Rebbe is Mashiach, or the Baba Ver saying, or the Sapper, the two Sapper saying their Rebbe is Mashiach. But Chabad is not only saying it, but promoting it. And that's, I think, where the difference lies. So, number one, I fault them for not doing what they're supposed to do. It. That's number one. Number two, maybe, as uh, Rabbi Yachtin said, mentioned before, if you look in the Rambam, Rambam Hilchus Melachim, in the end of his entire Mishneh Torah, where he describes the first stage of the revelation of Mashiach, because the Rambam speaks in two, in two levels. There's a Cheskes Mashiach, and by the Mashiach, there's Pesum Mashiach, and we know in Aloha that Chazake is, Bezdin can kill someone on a Chazake. So there's Cheskes Moshiach, and Rambam describes what is the who is this individual who can be or should be considered as Moshiach. So we sit in when we learn the Rambam, and for that matter, just I think anybody would learn the Rambam. And as Rabbi Yafzin said before, he encourages everybody to learn the subject and not just to get the information from exciting uh, discussions here and there. It's Torah. With Torah and Torah, we have to study. It's a, it's a tough subject. So there the Rambam describes an individual. I think that everybody would agree that the Rebbe is the one who is most fitting in our generation with what the Rambam describes. And therefore, so, only a natural 
if we believe that Mashiach is coming today, and we all believe, because everybody says, so it's not a theoretical concept. It's a real concept. It's a reality. We believe Mashiach is coming today. So if Mashiach is coming today, somebody has to be the one. So it's only a natural outgrowth of the powerful, strong faith that we have. Too, because of the Rebbe's encouragement, because of the Rebbe's such forceful um, promoting this whole idea of realizing that we are living the actual times of Mashiach. So it's only now. We have the phone with people calling, right? Let's go to Shlomo in Manhattan. Shlomo, you have a question for our guest. Go ahead, please. Yes, a question with, with a follow up after the question. Will the Mashiach be the head of the Sanhedrin? He'll decide. The Rambam doesn't discuss this. Did that answer your question, Shlomo? Yeah, because, you know, to sit on the Sanhedrin, you have to have children. That's all I'm saying. It's a special physical children, not spiritual children. Physical children. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I guess based on that, he's saying the Rebbe is not Mashiach, uh, based on his criteria. But the Rambam doesn't say that Mashiach has to be the Rosh of Sanhedrin. So I don't see why this conclusion and a little uh, haphazardly. Okay, we're going to take a break. As you heard, we're looking at a group that's saying that Chabad should be promoting more Mashiach, and the Rebbe is, should be Mashiach as far as being promoted. Rabbi Ruven Wolf is with us, together with Rabbi Gershon Afsen, Rabbi Zushi Zilberstein. We'll be back right after these following messages. And if you'd like to chime in, our numbers are 212-769-1925, 212-769-1925. Email zevatalklinenetwork.com. Coming up in a little bit, former ambassador Danny Dialone and General Avini, who was charged of Gaza, will be looking at the latest Iran-Israel conflict. Don't want to miss our special broadcast. Again, our numbers are 212-769-1925. And uh, and th and thanks to Robert Silverson, we're going to start off playing the cognac commercial. Here we go. We'll be right back. This Passover, support Israel with a taste of the Holy Land. Men and women just love Evan Zahav's super smooth and soft Arak, the Israeli rum. The Evan Zahav brandy VSOP in a special gift box and the premium Evan Zahav Goldstone Grand Reserve brandy represents superb Israeli distilling traditions and the finest natural spirits and oak barrels ever made. Jewish women work really hard this time of year and are the anchor of the home. What better way to show appreciation than with these exceptional drinks from Israel? If you're looking for other great choices for Pesach, consider Etienne Francais VSOP Armagnac with subtle hints of spices, Etienne Francais VSOP Cognac aged for a minimum of four years in oak casks, or Etienne Francais XO Cognac aged for a minimum of 10 years in oak casks. The Cumba Chiliana collection are the best kosher official wines from Chile. It's a big hit and has become a favorite wine for special occasions. Its taste is full and steady with notes of blueberry, blackberry, and red currant. You'll also love the wild goat Mavushal wines from Argentina, a kosher for Pesach and all year round. Aziz and Pesach from Doina Limited, importer of the finest kosher wines, cognacs, and brandy. When it comes to Pesach, nothing but the best in quality and kosher will do for your Seder and Yom Tov meals. For the last 60 years, Marvid Kosher Poultry has been providing the cleanest, finest, and tastiest chickens, turkeys, ducks, and Cornish hens for discriminating kosher consumers. Marvid also has the most kosher supervision, including the OU, MK, Isachdus, and COR as well. So, this Yom Tov makes sure Marvid is on your family's table. Available at the finest kosher supermarkets. A hot kosher v'sameach from Marvid Poultry. Ancient tradition, today's taste. This is Yitzi Weinberg, Executive Director of the Flappers Community Fund. Attention, Flappers Community. Are you ready for the upcoming Yontif of Pesach? Matzah, food, and clothing, things we often take for granted. But for too many in our community, these basic necessities are out of reach. Beer cabinets, no simchas Yontif, and outgrown clothing. It's a harsh reality, but you can make a difference. The Flappers Community Fund is here to help. We provide essential support to those struggling with the rising costs of living. Your donation can bring hope to families facing financial hardship. We need to raise $1.5 million to deliver Pesach essentials. Here's how you can help. Donate online. Visit us at fcfund.org. Every dollar counts. Or call us at 718-650-3545 to speak directly with our team. Your generosity matters. Remember. 
These expenses can't wait for the right time, and they shouldn't have to. Let's come together as a community and lift each other up. Flatbush Community Fund, because compassion knows no bounds. Donate today and be part of the change. FCFund.org, every dollar counts. Or call 718-650-3545. This message is brought to you by the Flappers Community Fund, helping our neighbors one donation at a time. Pace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Pace is right around the corner at Ace Corner Hardware at 2266 Nostrand Avenue, between Avenues H and I in Brooklyn. Ace has everything you need for Pesach, from cooking to koshering to organizers, shelf liners to sink inserts of all shapes and sizes, and so much more. Make sure you check out their extensive cleaning supplies, mops, brooms, and again, so much more. Ace Corner Hardware, located at 2266 Nostrand Avenue, between Avenues H and I in Brooklyn. Plenty of free parking, also available. Ace. The Helpful Place. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. See store for details. Must be an Ace Rewards member to receive instant savings. Available through the end of the month. We last had Mendy on dealing with his wonderful new company called Rolling Kosher Division of Valley and Caters. And now for Pesach, they're servicing with catered foods, Southern Florida, and even shipping to Orlando. Mendy, welcome back. What's on deck for Pesach? Tell us what's going on. Hey, hey Zeb. Thanks for having me again. Always a pleasure being here. Yeah, we have an awesome operation uh, uh, running where we're serving uh, uh, all South Florida and sending some shipments to Orlando. So they can order uh, from you have... and you'll deliver to them in South Florida and ship to Orlando. Absolutely. Uh, we have uh, three, two to three kitchens that we're working out of. Uh, we're under the KM where, you know, we have um, uh, some amazing chefs with us, the renowned Chef Pez. Um, and, uh, you know, things have been going fantastic. And we're, we've only been making people extremely happy. You want great food, great service, delivered to your door? Call Mendy. How can they get a hold of you? Uh, you can actually check out our website, rollingkosher.com, or call 954-520-5139. Better to WhatsApp in your order. Give out the number one more time. Response. That's 954-520-5139. One more thing, Zev. We'll be serving delicious smoked meats something everyone should take advantage of as long as the, it lasts. So take advantage of Valley and Caterers and Rolling Kosher for a wonderful Pesach in South Florida. You're listening to Talk Line with Zev Brenner, America's premier Jewish broadcast on the air since 1981. And now, here's your host. Hour back, our guests are Chabad rabbis, Ruben Wolf, Gershon Zushi Silberstein, and they'd love to see Chabad push more Mashiach and the Rebbe being Mashiach. Let's let's take an email question. And here's a, somebody writes, the rabbis, I'm a Chabad Chassid studying in the Chabad Yeshiva. Just want to give you a history rundown. The whole thing of the Rebbe Satsal being Mashiach gave the Rebbe a lot of pain in Agus Nefesh. The Rebbe has even threatened to leave a Fabrengen because they were singing a Chid. True, the Rebbe pushed to repair for Mashiach, but not that it was him. The only time he was able to take off when the Rebbe got sick and it wasn't all up to him. People saw it as a way to calm themselves down when the Rebbe was sick. The biggest proof is that most Chabad, especially Shluchim, Mashamshin, Mashpiyam, left the Meshachist movement. It's a chuspah that they're saying this in the name of Chabad and the Rebbe when they're just taking things out of context. Thousands of great Torah scholars learned Rambam for hundreds of years, and no one ever came to the conclusion that you have to say who is Mashiach. The only thing is, does this further people from Hasidus? Besides the founder of the movement, Rabbi Yol Khan Zatzal, said during the Rabbi Shiva that he made a big mistake, so who are they even relying on? Anybody want to tackle that? We live in a, we live in a free world, and everybody's entitled to say whatever they want. And uh, today, unfortunately, um ignorance is uh very very popular and uh there's an old expression Ain lanu divre ben Amram. we have to go back to the sources we have to go back to the words of the rabbi himself and if anyone takes the time seriously without any agendas without any preconceived opinions simply learning the Rebbe's edited words in the Sikhas, and the Rebbe's answers and the Rebbe's clear directives 
nobody can say what has just been said. But yes, did Rabbi ever he, say that he is Mashiach? Did he ever say that clearly? You know, let me share with you a little story. At this time of the year, before Yadal of Nisan, Tafshin Nun Base, 1992, I was uh, invited by a local TV station to talk about the Rebbe, this particular uh, broadcaster, brilliant woman, French Canadian, uh, has a live program across Canada. And this was going to be a week before Yudalaf Nissen. She knew the whole situation, the Rebbe stroke, etc., the whole Lubavitch belief. And she asked me to come online and speak after the Rebbe had the first stroke, uh, if we still believe if the Rebbe is Moshiach or not. That was, you don't have to come, but if you come, this will be my question. So what does a Chassid do? A Chassid asks the Rebbe. So I wrote a letter, I wrote a title, a note, asking the following. Should I go or should I not go? If I should accept this invitation, what I think I should be answering, I would say the following. If you ask me, do I believe that the Rebbe is Moshiach? I will say no. Do I believe in the concept of, in the belief of Moshiach? Obviously, an imam in Ben Moshiach. Do I know that the Rebbe is Moshiach? This we have to look in Torah. This we have to look in Shulchan Aruch. This we have to look in the authorities that discuss who is Moshiach. And what I will do, I wrote to the Rebbe, I'm going to bring the Rambam Hilches Melochim in English and in French, and obviously the original in Eloshim Kurdish, and I'm going to read what the Rambam says. And I'm going to say, according to what we all feel, is the Rebbe fits the description. So, believe in Moshiach is a Muna. Animamin b'muna shalema b'viyas ha-Moshiach. Who is Moshiach? This has nothing to do with belief. I believe I need to put on fill. But do I believe that the fill, if I go to a cipher and he tells me, I believe the fill na kosher, I said, do me a favor, get me another cipher. It's not about belief. Did you check in the Shulchan Aruch or you didn't? So the same thing is with this. So my question to the Rebbe was, should I go? Should I say this? And if yes, I want a bracha. The program is supposed to be that particular Sunday at 11 o'clock. Six o'clock in the morning, I get a phone call from Rabbi Groner. He read my question to the Rebbe, and the Rebbe responded on all three. Should I go? Yes. Should I say this? Yes. Do I have a bracha? Yes. So do I need any more than this? And there is plenty more than that. This is just a personal answer that I had from the Rebbe. Here's an email from Lakewood, New Jersey. The Rebbe was not a direct descendant of the Alter Rebbe since the Tzemach Tzedek was only a son-in-law and married into the family. So the Rebbe is also not a ben, achabem, which son after the son of David HaMelech. It can't be Mashiach. I guess somebody else can answer this, like anybody else. Yeah, so uh, Mr. Yeah. Brenner. Yes. So this is obviously not a new question. It's the question that people have been asking for generations. It didn't start today. And there are already many people, Rabbi Volpe wrote extensively about it in his Sefer. He has a Sefer called Yechia Melech HaMoshiach. It's written extensively. And it's very important when we have this entire discussion that we all have to remember that in the Chabad world, I will tell you a story. I'll tell you two stories, then you'll appreciate my well, answer. Unfortunately, we have to go to Israel in a few moments, but go ahead. Okay. So in short, by, by us, the the words of the any of our rabbeim that itself is a mocker right that's the way we take it our rabbeim the Fried reb rashab wrote you see it in sefer tera shalem mir zainin misera based david we are misera based david and therefore you know and he said that will continue our our chain of misera based david is going at be as goyal tzedek there has been there has been also He's, Rabbi Volpa brings in Svarim showing how Rabbi Shalom Shachna himself was also from Beis David, proofs to that, as well as the fact, this is a little bit controversial, but it's based on a Toysvis in Sanhedrin, Heyo Medalef, which you can look in his Sefer, and he writes about this extensively, how the Gemara says in, San, in, the Gemara says in Sanhedrin that Rabbeinu HaKadosh 
is a candidate for Mashiach. And yet the, the Chazal tell us the Rabbeinu HaKadosh was a descendant from the daughter of, through the, through the daughter of David HaMelech. And therefore, through there was a the chain, but with a daughter. So therefore, there's even an opinion that says it doesn't have to be Ben Acher Ben, but we believe that our Rabbeim Tzamech Tzedek included is Ben Acher Ben. Out of curiosity, who is Mashiach Ben Yosef? You have Mashiach Ben Dov, you say is the Rabbi. Who's Mashiach Ben Yosef? So it's fascinating. Yeah, Rabbi Wolf. That Rabbi 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 Wolf. Yes, Rambam doesn't mention Mashiach Ben Yosef at all. It's a very interesting thing. He does, he mentions Gog and Magog, and he, and he mentions a, a Navi coming before the Giyula, but he says that we don't know exactly the information. Regarding Mashiach Ben Yosef, Rambam just absolutely doesn't even mention it. Um, uh, you mentioned the book, Yechi um, HaMelech um, HaMashiach from Rabbi Volpa. He has a fascinating discussion of about 30 pages in which he di the discusses that Mash bringing many, many various different proofs that Mashiach Ben Yosef and Mashiach Ben David could be the same individual who's both a grandson, traces the lineage through the Shevet of Yosef and the Shevet of David, and it's two periods in his life. In other words, the period that the Rambam refers to as Cheskas Mashiach, which is a presumed Mashiach, that's the, that's the time when Mashiach is more engaged in war with, in other words, a spiritual war or whatever it is. There's still evil in the world. There's still darkness in the world. There's a battle going on. Uh, that's with the qualities of Yosef that's in his soul. And the, pot, the, 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 the aspect of Mashiach ben David is more already post-Messianic. Once Mashiach is fully here and the whole world has already recognized Mashiach, and then he just becomes a powerful channel for the ultimate godly light into the world, that's when he's taking the role of Mashiach ben David. So, now, here's, here's the interesting thing, and I'm sorry we're pressed with Tommy Close's situation in Israel, but the fact is, though, after the Rebbe passed away, you had a whole robust Mashiachist movement saying the Rebbe is Mashiach, but as time went on, you don't see that public displays as much as it used to. Yes, you still have individuals that do it, the reason being because a lot of the Chabad shluchim felt it's not good for Chabad imaging to promote the Rebbe as Mashiach. I've spoken, I won't mention the shluchim that have said that very publicly. So you liked Chabad to go back to that, but I think the average rank and file doesn't want to promote that because of the reason I just enunciated. If I may jump in over here for a second, I, I, I think that uh, every Chabad Chassid believes that the Rebbe is Mashiach, without any doubt. Is this what we need to focus on? Not necessarily. The Rebbe said very clearly, our Schlichus, our the campaign, call it, is to bring the awareness to the world that we are living the time of the revelation of Mashiach. Everything which is happening today in the world, and particularly what's happening today in Eretz Yisrael, and may they to help that everybody should be safe and well, and uh, all our hostages should come back. And we're all hostages. Some are hostages in our own little shtick, and some are, and we're all hostages in Golas. The point is that we have to realize that the reality of Mashiach is imminent and we have all of us to do something to make it happen quicker. This is the main focus on the campaign. Now, who is Mashiach? It's a nice conversation. I believe it, but that's not the main thing in the coming of Mashiach. If I know who is Mashiach or I don't know who is Mashiach, it doesn't take away from the fact that Mashiach is coming. And it doesn't take away from the fact that I have to do whatever I can. And as the Rebbe said, add a little in the realm of goodness and kindness. The Rebbe quoted the Rambam. And the Rebbe said, as the Rambam says, that achas, one deed is machia This is where our attention should be. While we all believe that the Rebbe is Mashiach. But this is not where the campaign is. The effort that we need to do is for all of for every single Jew in the world to recognize that we are living the moment of the revelation of Mashiach. And let's act accordingly. Let's have more achtus. Let's have more Jewish unity. Let's have more love for each, for each other. Let's support each other. And this is the main focus that it should be. That's a very good message. Anyway, I want to thank all of your rabbis, Ruben Wolf. Uh, Gershon Alsen and Zushi Silberstein for being part of our show. Sorry, we're pressed with Tom because of the 
what's happening here. Just roll. Look forward to having you back again. Then continue. We'll continue our discussion. So, uh, thank you for joining us. You had the for an advertisement for cognac. So lachaim, lachaim. Lachaim. I see you making lachaim. Those are watching. Amen. Amen. And there you have it. There. Look at.